So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the great. Referee Herb Ready Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. That is a damaging kick that lands. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, man, another massive kick lands. And doing work with the jab. Just over. 
over three minutes to go now. Nice shot to the body there. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally it's the hands. Tonight he's going kick after kick after kick. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Oh, man, yeah. hit to land. to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Big shot to the head. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Lands a good series of kicks here. Straight punch is true. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, nice jab, nice kick. Kick. He checked that last one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really oh. Really nice left hand there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that spin. Oh, that opened up a cut on his forehead. Oh. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Stairs with the kick. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Big power shot there. 20 seconds left. Nice body shot. Both guys appeared to land there. Ten seconds now to go in the round. <laughs> round two straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, but not before he got that cut on his forehead. We'll see if that becomes a factor later in this fight. Cut man set to earn his money here. Let's keep that going. Love what you do with the leg kick. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the replays, Daniel, from that previous round. And he certainly has the hands and the feet going tonight as he caused a cut there in that previous round. A lot of times you can't even dream this stuff up where you fight this well. He has done everything right, and he opened up a massive cut over his opponent's eyes. And now you start to see the blood leak down into the eye, limiting, limiting his ability to try to slow him down. All right, we will see how much that bleeding has stopped as we get ready for this next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Trying to find a home for that right hand. So he's 
really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. High velocity elbow is blocked. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this you, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up to the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Oh, that one landed, yep. Ooh, big shot lands. Separate after exiting the clinch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. There's the kick, it's blocked. Seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easy. Ooh. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. Back kick there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, damage on the head. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. Oh, no! Fifteen seconds. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round.
finds another to build. Oh! You heard him. to land these beautiful knees. And that underhook helping him control that side of his opponent nicely done. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. It's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Three minutes now to go in this one. There's that hit kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, it looked like he got tagged a couple times there up top. But that punch, no good. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Clean punch. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, he's hurt bad. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but the defense is still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Going orthodox now. Under 90 seconds to go. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that he's there. Now, and yes, the doctor is going to be called in. The referee pauses the action. His nose is absolutely mangled. It's smashed. He's huh. done a great job of smashing that nose, pushing it back. You see the blood coming down the face into the mouth. But it should not affect him being able to see his opponent in front of him. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee. And it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out of the shield. If he's going to go out because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain he'll get to go out again. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him get another round. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. 30 seconds to go. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Under 20 seconds now to go. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my God! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.
we send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the great. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.